सो फार आई हैव डिस्कस्ड द गैल्वेनिक सेल्स व्हिच आर द रिवर्सिबल सेल्स एंड अ वेरी इनफाइनाइट डेसिमल अमाउंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज ड्रॉन फ्रॉम दैट सेल बाय एन पोटेंशियल इज मेजर बाय मींस अ पोटेंशियोमीटर Uh, but uh, sometimes in many cases the galvanic cells are used as used as the power supply in many commercial purposes and uh, today i shall discuss and this is probably the last lecture in this series the commercial cells commercial cells are very important and it is of it is of household familiarity so many families use this commercial cells as the power supply and it is of two types one is primary cell in which whenever the chemicals are added the reaction starts automatically and producing the electricity free energy is decreasing and that decrease of free energy is converted into electrical work but uh, this uh, these reactions these uh, cells could not be reversed cell reactions uh, could not be reversed means once adjusted it is thrown out it could not be used it could not be reused uh, for further for the purposes and this uh, type one is oh, one is the primary lacklen cell one a is a primary cell primary cell and the best example of this uh, primary cells is the lacklen cells lacklen cell or a dry it is also sometimes called a dry cell dry cell in this case this cell is uh, zinc and uh, zinc chloride and ammonium ammonium chloride 20% paste 20% uh, paste have been taken inside and uh, it is the manganese dioxide which is a solid and here the graphite graphite acts as the positive electrode and this zinc is negative electrode actually it is a cylindrical cell uh, and the container cylindric con the walls of this cylindrical container container actually used this zinc metals and inside this middle there is a graphite rod with a cap with a cap of this copper and the same reaction in this left hand side in this left hand side uh, a reaction reaction is a zinc and giving this zinc to plus a plus to e and it is the oxidation oxidation in the case of this uh, right hand side uh, right hand side uh, reaction right hand side reactions this um, here it is oxidation and and mno2 manganese dioxide is solid plus so water uh, plus uh, twice uh, e and forming this mn2 o3 uh, solid uh, plus uh, twice oh uh, minus and this is this reaction reaction so the next cell reaction cell reaction is zinc solid plus twice uh, mno2 solid 
that's what I and in giving this zinc ion plus Mn two O three solid plus twice OH minus and this reaction is a reversible means this reaction does not uh, proceed to a to a large extent and equilibrium attained very easily. So in order to make this reaction to completion, the products products are removed as soon as they are formed by these cell reactions. And this is the cell reaction. Cell reactions. And uh, you know uh, the other other substances uh, suppose ammonium chloride this uh, ammonium chloride actually ammonium chloride uh, reacts with the twice OH minus and uh, giving this uh, twice ammonia uh, plus plus twice Cl minus and uh, plus water plus and this ammonia and chloride, these two are side reactions and these two are combined with this uh, products. So hydroxyl ion is removed here and the zinc ion is removed as zinc ZN2 plus plus uh, twice ammonia and, and plus uh, twice Cl minus uh, forms a complex complex Jn N H3 or whole 2 and twice Cl2. So by this way the zinc ion and hydroxyl ion both are removed from this uh, product side and the reaction will go to completion. So as we have uh, already uh, discussed in several times this equilibrium constant for this uh, for this uh, cell reaction so should be very very high so that the reactions will go near to completions. And the very important uh, the union carbide produces the average cells and average cells are very common in household. I know uh, every family, almost uh, every family uses this uh, type of uh, dry cells. And the potential, potential of this, potential of this cell is, is about 1.5 1, 1. volt. So this is a this is very handy and uh, very easy to difficult. But uh, but you know this uh, due to this reaction these two products are formed uh, and easily attains equilibrium. So this uh, it is advised uh, not to use this uh, type of cells uh, continuous discharge. Whenever it continuous discharge, these two are accumulates and accumulates and the equilibrium is attained. Uh, as as it will take some time to uh, these uh, products combine uh, yeah, or uh, requires uh, some time to uh, to give it, give this uh, give uh, to remote by these two reactions. So these two reactions uh, does not participate in the cell reaction. So these two reactions will not contribute to the potential of this electrode. And these uh, two to uh, truly uh, lithium uh, lithium iodine iodine cell it is completely completely dry cell completely dry cell and this is uh, the cell representation here lithium uh, solid and here uh, lithium iodide uh, it is also solid and here this iodine iodine it is also solid this type of cell is widely used uh, in this cardiac uh, pacemaker and uh, and the potential of this uh, and potential of this cell is about 3.5 volt and and it uh, it is a very long lasting and completely dry no water is present within this shell 
this uh, unlike this one the primary cells uh, are uh, the disposal cells but uh, this type secondary cells are uh, is chargeable cells means once the cell is exhausted it could be reused by charging this uh, cell again and again so this type of cells is very important in our commercial use and um, the these cells secondary means so these uh, whenever the chemicals are are uh, placed in the cell the reaction the electricity is not produced uh, instantaneously first the uh, external electrical energy is to be in to be used to induce this chemical reactions inside the uh, cell and then this reaction uh, cell reactions will start and this is why it is called the secondary cells and secondary cells uh, can store up the can store up this uh, electricity for a, a long time not only that uh, it, it's uh, uh, it's must have some additional criteria uh, is that the, the construction is very simple and uh, also the cost for the production or cost of production is very cheap and not only that it can store this electrical energy for uh, when not in use so it is very very powerful uh, for for ready hand uh, power supply in this uh, whole household uh, family or this uh, commercial uh, commercial or uh, commercial uses and uh, one of these very important type of secondary cells is the acid storage cell acid storage cell or lead accumulator that means this cell can accumulate the electricity within itself the cell representation cell representation is uh, lead and it is this lead sulfate lead sulfate solid here sulfuric acid sulfuric acid uh, 20% solution 20% uh, solution and here this lead oxide solid and and this lead and this one is positive and this one is negative and the construction is also cheap as this lead is a very cheap metal and sulfuric acid is also comparatively less cost so this cell construction is very uh, easy and and cheap and the reaction reaction of this cell in the left hand side actually lead plus uh, plus twice sulfate arm twice sulfate arm and gives this lead sulfate uh, twice lead lead sulfate uh, solid plus a plus a twice e here the oxidation here the oxidation and this case of reduction to the right hand side at this uh, at this uh, cathode it is the lead oxide solid uh, plus uh, 4 H plus and uh, giving giving you this uh, lead sulf lead solid plus plus uh, twice water. And here are uh, plus uh, two plus four e. Here also four e. And it is this reduction. So 
be net reaction, net cell reaction. Cell reaction is uh, twice lead solid plus these two uh, forms a twice sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid solution, solution and uh, plus uh, plus lead oxide solid and giving this uh, twice lead sulfate. lead plus twice uh, lead sulfate uh, solid this is also solid and plus uh, twice water i think balance is over balance uh, is over uh, twice happy uh, sulfuric acid uh, twice uh, sulfuric acid uh, something acid and here this lead oxide uh, and the right hand side uh, lead Sulfate, uh, sulfate, sulfate acid, and give this twice lead sulfate and sulfate. So, whenever this reaction occurs spontaneously, uh, it is called a discharging. 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 When this reaction attains equilibrium, means. Uh, so at the starting point, actually, free energy, free energy of this uh, cell becomes a maximum. As this, uh, as this uh, cell is con continu continue, cell is continuing to give this uh, electricity. Its uh, free energy is uh, decreased. Its free energy is uh, decreased. When it attains equilibrium, then G free energy of this area cell is minimum. Minimum and reaction attends equilibrium, and this uh, cell will stop uh, producing this electricity. So, the, this is the whenever the cell is uh, totally adjusted, it could be uh, recharged, it could be charged by connecting this cell with ex any external cell having the hard potential uh, so that the cell will act as the electrolytic cell or by means of a simple charger. Charger. It is a very interesting uh, that uh, this uh, can it can be used again and again uh, repeatedly by charging and and this char charging and discharging. So it is uh, it can be one point I can I can state that uh, so that cell once you purchase uh, means it will it will continue for lifelong. It is not like that. Uh, as this reverse reaction, so whenever this charging occurs, this lead is produced. So this lead sometimes uh, becomes this spongy lead, and this spongy lead uh, will not uh, further uh, react. So after a, after some time, say five to six uh, years, uh, the the cell will totally uh, damage. Uh, this cell will not be used again. And uh, it is it is compared very very simple. This electric once you charge this uh, cell, uh, this uh, this electricity uh, remains stored within this uh, cell. And whenever you require, you, you just uh, tap this electricity from the cell. Let's say why well, can compare one boy is going to the boring, a very small boy going to the going to the uh, boring, and his mother uh, given so many laddus in a box and and this boy uh, is uh, taking this laddu whenever uh, uh, he feel he feels hungry and whenever it is uh, totally uh, adjusted uh, no laddu in the box he will he will again, <coughs> again come to his mother and take the again laddu and 
and uh, go to this uh, to this uh, body very interesting and this uh, cell the reaction the cell potential uh, the cell potential is uh, this one and, and minus 0 0.059 by 2 by 2 and uh, and it is a plus and this log activity of this uh, sulfuric acid, uh, sulfuric acid uh, and squared, squared. And E cell actually E cell uh, not equal to E cell right minus left uh, means uh, hydrogen ion lead sulfate, lead oxide, uh, solid and and lead uh, lead minus E naught of this um, in this case the sulfate ion sulfate ion oblique lead sulfate lead sulfate solid uh, and and this lead if we put these uh, two electrode standard electrode potentials it will give you uh, 2.04 2.04 volt at a 25 degree centigrade so actually this one and this one is a 2.04 uh, plus this uh, 2 2 will cancel the 0 0.059 and log activity of this sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid. So this is the expressions. Whenever the, this cell will produce approximately 2 point, uh, that means that the cell potential depends on this activity of the sulfuric acid and whenever the activity or the concentration of sulfuric acid has been taken, has been taken at 20 percent, uh, the cell potential is of 0 point uh, cell potential e cell uh, is 0 2 point 2 point uh, 2 volt of when when not in use and when when uh, when not in use and it is equal to approximately 0 2.0 volt with load we load. Here no load and here we load. So this is all about this uh, secondary cell, secondary cell and this acid storage cells. Acid means uh, sulfuric acid is uh, taken and this is why it is called the acid storage cells. The lead accumulators means lead are the lead are the metals used in this uh, in this in the forming in the formation of this electrode. Whenever the, the charging occurs, uh, the lead is uh, deposited at the lead is deposited at uh, both these electrodes, and uh, whenever the discharging occurs, this lead sulfate is deposited. Here, the charging occurs, the sulfuric acid is regenerated, and the specific gravity of the sulfuric acid will be increasing. Actually, the charging becomes a full considered when the sulfuric acid specificity of the sulfuric acid attains a certain value. So this is all about the acid storage cell and the two second type of the secondary cells or chargeable cells is the alkali storage cell or it is also sometimes called the addition accumulators. And this cell is also uh, popular uh, can stand uh, rough handling but its cost is a little bit high due to the presence of this nickel which is the cost uh, costly uh, metal and the uh, cell uh, the presentation is uh, ferrous uh, iron iron and ferric of ferrous oxide a solid a potassium hydroxide concentrated solution and nickel oxide and uh, uh, nickel dinickel trioxide and and this uh, nickel and uh, this is positive anode and this uh, cathode and this one is the anode if we do this uh, cell 
uh, electrode reaction separately and join, then we shall get this sealed reaction. And this sealed reaction is uh, FeS uh, Ni2O3. This is oxidized and this is reduced. And uh, here FeO and uh, twice uh, NiO solid. And uh, whenever this reaction uh, reaction occurs spontaneously it will produce this electricity and it is called the uh, discharging means uh, means electricity is discharging by the cell and uh, as as uh, previously I, I i have told uh, the whenever this discharging occurs the free energy of this uh, cell re cell reaction is decreasing and when it attains a minimum this uh, cell is totally adjusted uh, the action attains equilibrium and the cell will stop uh, producing this electricity uh, in that case again the charging requires uh, to recover this cell uh, initial state means uh, free energy again free energy again uh, lifted uh, to this maximum value by supplying this uh, electricity from this outside source supply the supplying the electrical energy from this outside source by this way it will continue to Produce. The potential cell cell uh, cell potential is about 1.3 volt. This is the this is the main uh, problem that uh, to get uh, to attain this uh, or to reach a certain potentials, large number of cells are uh, required uh, to attain this value, uh, in, and the acid storage cell will be little bit. Uh, cheaper and uh, and the potential of this uh, acid storage cells is also uh, also uh, potential is also high and uh, and this uh, third type uh, third type of this alkali cell uh, is called a nickel nickel uh, nickel cadmium Cadmium cell, uh, which is also nickel cadmium cell, which is also uh, popular nickel nickel cell. Nickel cell, nickel cell is again more costly as this uh, iron. The same uh, type of cell and iron is replaced by this uh, cadmium. Here the cadmium, cadmium oxide, and, and these are the same. So this uh, this uh, this cell is uh, costly, but uh, but it is long lasting and uh, it is used in different uh, mobile sets mobile sets. So this is all about this uh, type of uh, primary cells and secondary cells. And now I shall uh, give some idea regarding this uh, fuel cells. last one and also very important one type of this uh, commercial cell is the fuel cells and uh, you know the conventional uh, all these conventional processes includes uh, the production of electricity from this heat and the conversion of uh, heat uh, to electrical energy is a very very challenging job in thermal power station actually uh, they use uh, the use the boilers uh, in which the water is vaporized and the pressure of this vapor at very high pressure and they they boil this water at a high vapor pressure uh, actually move uh, moves this uh, turbine rotates this turbine and turbine is connected to a generator and so electricity is being produced. Not only that, the efficiency of this uh, thermal power stations uh, or the conversions of heat into uh, the electrical energy by this way is not very high uh, maximum. From this Carnot cycle it could also be calculated uh, about 40% uh, in almost this ideal cases. Uh, not only that, uh, it produces uh, pollution problems, a uh, large amount of carbon dioxide when coal is uh, burned and uh, large amount of carbon dioxide are, 
are uh, being produced and they will produce this uh, global warming they will produce the global warming and uh, and and aside all these uh, all these cases uh, this uh, another uh, motivation is going on to produce this electricity from this uh, heat by by the use of this uh, fuel cells fuel cells uh, efficiency is very high about the 70 percent uh, or a high but uh, it has also its own limitations so that i shall discuss uh, later on the, this is the sketch of this uh, fuel cell here the uh, hydrogen hydrogen is the fuel uh, in some cases hydrogen and 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 the methane ethane or other uh, fuels are used uh, fuels are the hydrogen it is it is I am discussing this uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. So hydrogen is uh, mm, first hydrogen is first uh, th it consists of three chambers uh, first chamber second chamber third chamber the first chamber hydrogen gas is uh, pouring and, and here the oxygen is also uh, given and uh, in this middle chamber this uh, concentrated potassium hard oxide solutions is there. Uh, and uh, these are uh, these are the uh, conducting um, graphite uh, porous plate uh, sprinkling with this uh, platinum powder. This platinum powder acts as catalyst, and uh, and, uh, and and the graphite uh, plates are conducting. And this is the negative anode, and this is the cathode, and these are the two terminals of this uh, shell. Actually, so long this hydrogen oxygen is being supplied uh, to this uh, cell, it will continuously uh, produce this uh, produce uh, this electricity uh, without having uh, any pollution. And uh, so, uh, the reactions. If I if I uh, write this reaction, then in this anode at uh, at this uh, left hand side left hand side electrode uh, reaction is uh, hydrogen hydrogen gas uh, giving this uh, twice h uh, plus uh, plus uh, plus twice e and this is the oxidation and the at uh, uh, right hand side right hand side electrode is half oxygen uh, plus uh, plus water water plus uh, twice e and uh, giving this uh, twice uh, twice OH, twice OH uh, minus, and this is the uh, reduction. reduction. If we combine this uh, two, then then net uh, cell uh, reaction, cell reaction is a uh, hydrogen uh, plus a uh, half oxygen, oxygen. These are the gas, and this is also this gas, and uh, and plus water, plus water. And uh, giving this uh, twice H uh, plus uh, plus uh, twice OH uh, minus twice OH minus. So uh, mm, if we uh, formulate according to this uh, Nernst uh, equation, this E cell E cell equal to E cell uh, not uh, minus. Uh, minus 0 0.059 at 25 degree centigrade. So two electrons are involved, and this is the log activity of hydrogen on square and activity of hydroxyl on on square. Square. So E cell E cell uh, not equal to E naught right hand side right hand side means oh minus and oblique o2 and minus e naught uh, this uh, hydrogen hydrogen plus and hydrogen gas so this one uh, this one is equal to 0 0.40 and this one 0 so this is 0 0.40 volt 403 volt Three volt. Three volt. So this E cell, uh, E cell, is equal to zero point four zero three, and and uh, here uh, this minus zero point zero zero. E 
cell equal to 0.403 minus uh, 2 to cancel so 0 0.059 and log activity of hydrogen on and into activity of this hydroxyl arm. Hydroxyl arm. And we know this uh, activity product of this uh, hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion in aqua solutions, it is uh, always ionic um, product of water and 10 to the power minus 14. So 0 0.403 minus 0 0.059 and log 10 to the power minus 14 ionic product of this uh, 2 of water. So whenever calculation is being made, it will give the to 1.23 volt. So the potential obtained from this uh, uh, cell is also uh, not very low, very high. And so of this hydrogen and oxygen are fed into the solutions, uh, into the two chambers, so this will continue to produce this electricity. Main problem, which uh, uh, this uh, fuel cell, why it is not widely used as expected. Uh, this is uh, due to the fact that the, though this reaction, this reaction, this reaction is very rapid. This reaction is very rapid. And the exchange current from the, at uh, this anode is very high. But uh, this reaction, uh, reaction of this oxygen is very slow and this this is the main hindrance so, so the this as this reaction is slow so so the cell reaction becomes uh, slow and this current uh, obtained uh, from this uh, cell is also very slow though, though it is much more efficient and potential is also high and actually the attempts are going on to produce this uh, uh, to make the fuel cells uh, viable and for that purpose uh, the do the current density of this uh, of this uh, cathode current density of this cathode is very low these uh, plates graphite plates uh, taken the very large size uh, so that the current available availability of current is high and not only that the uh, innovations innovation is going on innovation is going on to um, to search for a suitable catalyst which can uh, accelerate this uh, cathodic uh, uh, reactions. Uh, so, it, uh, in, uh, I think in future, uh, in future years, uh, it will get a much more momentum and fuel cell becomes an alternative uh, power supply, power supply in every uh, commercial purposes. And uh, this is all about the it is actually a first uh, fuel cell first used in Apollo space program and, and in Apollo space uh, they are continue, continuously getting this electricity from this uh, fuel cell not only that the water uh, water vapor so produced uh, water vapor, uh, these, uh, these are condensed uh, to uh, liquid water and this liquid water uh, they have used for their uh, drinking purposes. Here I shall set one problem which has been uh, appeared in NET CSR UGC 2014 and in June. Uh, the problem is a uh, fuel cell provide a clean electrical energy to a variety of applications including automobiles and stationary power sources as we have seen here. Normally hydrogen combines with oxygen to give this electrical energy and water. Uh, if we use butane, if we use butane instead of hydrogen, if we use this butane as fuel instead of hydrogen, at 1.0 bar and 298 Kelvin, the following reaction occurs. Butane C4H10 gas plus 13 by 2 um, oxygen gas and giving this 4 carbon dioxide gas and 5 uh, molecules of water liquid. 
if the change in free energy of this uh, reaction is uh, 2746.06 kilojoule per mole in uh, involves um, which involves uh, 26 electrons also its open circuit voltage is uh, one option uh, two option uh, three option and four options uh, so the solution is uh, del G equal to minus N F uh, E cell. So E cell equal to minus uh, del G by N F and minus and minus del G equal to this one. Uh, this one to 2726.06. It is kilojoule and in terms of joule 10 to the power 13 multiplied. Uh, 10, to the, 10 to the power 3 multiplied and joule mole inverse and divided by 26 electrons in volts and it is the Faraday, uh, Faraday, Coulomb mole inverse of cancelling and and uh, doing this calculation it is found to be 1.0865 volt. So this uh, this answer is uh, nearly equal to the option 2. So I can say the correct option for this uh, problem uh, is 2. And this is uh, this is the end. This is the end of this uh, thermodynamics of this uh, electrochemical cells. Uh, I I actually uh, give thanks uh, to the uh, video watchers who has a long who are having this long patience uh, for uh, for watching this uh, video. And each video contains a long time. So I I think. Uh, it is the complete uh, of this uh, thermodynamics of electrochemical cells which uh, are usually set in this university exams. Uh, now next, uh, next uh, I shall try to explain the thermodynamics which is uh, another chapter, basic, uh, basic, uh, basic chapter in physical chemistry. And so thanks to you all who are watching this video again and, um, and if you like then please uh, subscribe.